If you want to master your stress, if you want to go from chaos to calm and really take charge of your internal state, then begin by actually redefining and giving different meaning to the stress that you're experiencing. When you tell yourself that everything is too overwhelming or it's really difficult, that it's too much for you, that you can't handle it, this becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and it only serves to further put you in a hole. You're digging yourself a deeper and deeper pit. The more that you entertain these trains of thoughts where you're not capable of handling what's happening in your life. Be careful with the words and terms that you use. If you tell yourself that all this stress is horrible and that all these bad things are happening to you and that it's not fair, that's not going to make the situation any better at all. But if you start to believe and think that you know, this is something that's supposed to help you become a better version of yourself, that you have to grow, that you have to see the lesson in all of this, then it's a completely different perspective and because you choose to take that view, all of a sudden everything looks a little bit brighter. When you listen to your own thoughts, do so discerningly. Actually question whether or not you like the quality of the thought itself, or whether or not there's a better way to think about and perceive the situation. Don't buy in so easily into thoughts that are negative because they will only breed even more negativity and make it even more difficult for you to turn your momentum and your thinking patterns around. A good way to think about this is how would you give advice to a friend who's experiencing a lot of stress? somebody who isn't really in a state of calm and who is struggling to find their center, to really relax. Well, you'd probably be pretty compassionate, kind, right? You'd be understanding of the fact that what they're going through is difficult, but at the same time, you would want them to get better. And so what if you take that same approach with yourself instead of you know, resenting yourself for not being strong enough or not pushing hard enough. You know, all that does is tie a further knot and it makes it even more difficult to get out of this bind. The thing is, when you do start to be more kind towards yourself, you give yourself forgiveness for feeling what you were feeling, for going through what you've been going through, and you can finally let go. You can finally actually breathe a little bit instead of tensing up more and more and more because that's what happens when you get into a stressful situation or you've gone through a time in your life where you're maybe overworked or you're just pushing yourself far beyond what you're actually capable of stretching to, then you start to really build up this accumulated level of resentfulness, stress, pressure, tension, and it all goes together and it starts to really weigh on your shoulders. But with kindness and forgiveness towards yourself, you really kind of alleviate all of this and it's like a breath of fresh air. You really stop holding on and you let go. And so it's not about pushing yourself to just think more positive thoughts and to just be more relaxed right now. Come on, be more relaxed, right? The more that you push, the more intensity you use, if anything, you create even more tension and because of that, you get further away from being calm. A peaceful state of mind really relies on you not being too attached to anything. And if you try to flip from being attached to a negative pattern of thought to a positive one, that doesn't really necessarily fix the inherent problem. And you see this very commonly when people try to switch from negative thinking to positive thinking. They never go through that middle stage, which is actually the most important part, just reaching neutrality, reaching a place where you're okay with what is acceptance, really. I also want you to remember that not everything that weighs you down is yours to carry, including some of the stuff that's self-inflicted. The thing is, we often put all this pressure and responsibility on our own shoulders, but you know, just getting some help, right? Just getting a little bit of support around you, people who can maybe give you a different perspective or some advice, or can in some way actually help you solve the problem that you're dealing with, that's 
really what you should be looking for. Don't just try to do this all by yourself. And if you'd like my personal support, if you'd like for me to coach you every single week, hold you accountable, but also support you in breaking through, leveling up your thinking, leveling up every area of your life and really becoming the best version of yourself, then I invite you to jump over to eraphael.com. The link is in the description over there. You can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me directly. We'll talk, see if it's a good fit. And if so, I would love to coach you and support you. I would love to be there for you as you grow. Again, if you wanna take advantage of that, just go to eraphael.com. The link for it is in the description. Now, one more thing that I want you to realize is that the time to relax is when you don't have time to relax. We often say if you can't meditate for five minutes, then you need five hours or preferably even five days, right? The more that you have on your plate and the more chaotic and crazy things are, the more you need to just break away from it all and have some space to just breathe, relax, let go. And if you can't give yourself that gift, then you are really telling yourself that you aren't worth it, that you don't deserve to have a little bit of time to really let go. And so no matter how crazy things are in your life right now, no matter how stressed you've been, even just a day off, you know, a couple of days, can you make it happen? Because it will give you such a different viewpoint and all of a sudden you have all this tension that just begins to release and you can see things a little bit more clearly it's easier to not buy into the old story the old thinking patterns and because of that you make a breakthrough so if you keep spinning in the same circle and you feel like you can't get out this is one of the quickest ways to release because when you get out of that pattern you know, your mind is refreshed. And also, you know, you start to just kind of appreciate yourself more. When you're so caught up in the cycle, when you're constantly running, running, running to get to the next destination and there's all these problems to solve, then it's almost like you can never let your guard down. You can never really, you know, just enjoy yourself. And when you find that joy, it's way easier to be productive, to be effective and to solve problems and to no longer really be trapped in that state of stress. You let it go, you release it, and you move on because you know that operating from that state is not helping you whatsoever. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this one and I will catch you on the next one.